Privit, and welcome to another episode of Garage Formosa. In this episode, it's back to work on the larder. So, back at the larder. So pretty much what we've got to do is remove the alternator, um, and modify the bottom mount and the top mount. So, we'll get cracking on that now. So now we need to remove these two bolts and remove this bracket that we have to modify. So here we are inside. Um, so this is the main reason why I stopped the installation before is because of the alternator. Um, this is like a factory replacement but it is slightly different in the way that the put like these pieces are separate because before it was just like one piece. It was kind of difficult to replace. But I was going to get an upgraded one but I think this will do me for a while anyway. Um, the only difference between well, the only thing I need to do to this is change the pulley because it's different. So I'll ugga dugger that off and replace it, and then we can throw it in the car, which is all sorts of exciting. So 19 mil. Okay, so that's different. That's got a keyway in there and that d doesn't. So I'm going to have to try and cut one into this. I don't have the tool for that though, so I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet. Diameter wise it looks right, it just doesn't have this little keyway. Don't know why. So basically what I'm going to do is just drill a hole just to the side here and then use my rotary tool to try and clean it out sort of thing. Um, a file probably would be better but I don't have one that small. So I'll crack on with that. Um, there is a proper tool to do these and you could probably just take it somewhere and they will do it. And um, yeah it just forces in a keyway, um, I don't have one. and. I'm keen to do this, so I'll do that. It should come out alright still, it'll just be a bit of faffing around. Let's do it.
So it's not pretty, but it should do. Would have been a lot easier with the proper tool, but I ain't that rich. Let's put him on. So, Kiwi's in. Let's throw him on. Oh, oh, it's like a bought one. Beautiful. Like it was made to be there. And tighten up slightly. I'm uh, I'm going to leave it a bit loose because I don't know if I'll have to take that spacer out or not yet. I think I might have to, um, but I don't really know, so I'll just leave it in there for now. Um, but yeah, that's sort of it for the alternator. Now we get to go back out to the larder, um, modify the mounts, and then throw this bad boy in. And um, once the fuel pump is in, which I'll sort of temporarily put in there for now, um, you should be a goer. Let's do it. So here's the bracket. Um, basically what we need to do is in line with that line, just cut it off there. Um, and put it to the back. I was thinking about welding it onto the back, a bit of extra, extra strength. Um, I don't really know if I'll need to because it's, you know, a pretty solid mount. So I might just put it on the back as a spacer. Um, but you can weld it if you want. Let's get cutting. So I'm just going to do this on top of my old air filter, um, just because I can. That's basically it, just there. Cut off. And then just put that over there. Just throw him on. That's actually pretty close to fitting. I'm gonna just twist that a little bit. Probably enough. This space needs to come out as well. It's pretty close, but. So it's official. It's supercharged. Belt net is on. Belt's on. It's all tight. I suppose the thing to do now is crank it over and see if they all 
move and check it out from there and then I suppose the next thing would be throw the fuel pump on and see if she starts it's exciting So here I am doing the fuel system. It's a very basic fuel system being carby. All it really is is just a fuel hose leading to the carby with an inline fuel pump and an inline filter and then a fuel return hose leading back to the tank. Alright, so the, uh, all the pulleys are on, sort of, the fuel line's on, the fuel pump's not wired in yet, but I'll dodgily plug it in, um, just to sort of test everything. Um, I'm still going to order module and stuff, so I'll, I'll wire it in later. Um, it's not actually blowing in yet, still got to get some threaded inserts to bolt it down um, but should be able to test the carby test that the supercharger is not going to blow up um, it's all sort of on so let's see what it sounds like alright so here we are in the car um, fuel pump is pumping everything else should be sweet so it should start now to hear the sounds of sweet success oh come on Start you savage bastard.
Next episode of Garage from Mesa. Maybe it'll start. See you then. On the next episode of Garage from Mesa, I finish off the supercharger install and find out why it won't start anymore. However, I did get it to start once.